Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. And we're so excited about what God is going to just do in each and every one of your lives. Before I go any further, I would love to extend an invitation to you to join us for virtual Bible study tonight with Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridgeton, New Jersey. The overseer is Apostle Roma D. Allen Sr. The pastor of the Bridgeton location is Pastor Dr. Lillian C. Allen. And we will have virtual Bible study on tonight, 7 o'clock p.m. You can find it on the church's Facebook page. Once again, 7 o'clock p.m. tonight, virtual Bible study. Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridgeton, New Jersey. You are cordially invited. If your ministry is not having Bible study tonight, uh, and if you are free, we would love for you to join us, but we would love for you to stay committed uh, to your ministry. So if your ministry is having Bible study tonight, you can always tune in if you are led by God at another time. And listen, God keeps just proving himself and opening doors to us here at the Balance of Life, and we would like to welcome uh, a an expansion to our ministry family last week we welcomed reason.fm and on today uh, it's a great honor and pleasure that we welcome our listeners via the apple podcast that's right we have expanded into another area our platform is continuing to expand and so we are just grateful and it is with great humility that we welcome our listeners of Apple Podcast to the balance of life. We are a teaching ministry. We are uh, a ministry that prays with you and for you. Uh, we are a ministry that uh, just love what we do and we are grateful for the work that God has given unto us. And we will definitely continue to pray for you on Tuesdays is our day of intercessory prayer it is a day that we labor before the Lord on behalf of our listening and our viewing audience and so if you have a prayer request or a testimony that you would like for us to share your prayer requests are in confidence if you would like to share a testimony we will need your uh, approval to do that please feel free to email us here at the balance of life one at yahoo.com and 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 so then we also have television ministry television ministry is mondays wednesdays and fridays on mondays and fridays we air via our youtube channel and vimeo on wednesdays we air via the roku network so once again, welcome, and I'm just, I'm in a place of awe and just humility about what God is doing in this season. All right, so yesterday, we started a, a topic, are you expecting what you're asking for? Today, I want to go a little further, and I want to talk about breaking some barriers, when I looked up the word barrier, and I'm going to look it up here again, a barrier is something, it's a fence or other obstacle that prevents movement or access. So oftentimes we're faced with barriers and they are obstacles. They could be you know, the definition is fence or obstacle. What we know in our, our life in Christ is we encounter spiritual strongholds. We, we encounter things that block and hinder a word. So I want to take you over to uh, Daniel. 
and I believe it is the Tim chapter. One of my uh, just a awesome, awesome passage of word. Okay, so we want to go over to Daniel the Tim chapter, and it, it's a good idea to to kind of back up and, and and really read before this. But I want to get to this area, Daniel the Tim chapter. And let's start at the uh, let's start at the first verse. It says, "In the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was called Belshazzar. And the thing was true, but the time appointed was long, and he understood the thing and had understanding of the vision." Right off, we're dealing with something that says he had understanding of the what was going on he had understanding of the vision whenever we are given a vision whenever a promise is been has been released unto us we first need to get an understanding of it and and we we talk so much here at the balance of life about being specific in our prayers and in our request so that helps us get an understanding also over in the book of proverbs fourth chapter it teaches us it says lean not into your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths that's going to help us get an understanding as well verse 2 says in those days i daniel was mourning three full weeks i ate no pleasant bread neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth neither did i anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled and in the four and twentieth day of the first month as i was by the side of the great river which is hadekel then i lifted up mine eyes and looked and behold a certain man clothed in linen whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphaz. his body also was like the barrel and his face as the appearance of lightning and his eyes as lamps of fire and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude and i daniel alone saw the vision sometimes god will reveal something to you and he has only revealed it to you it happened with Daniel and I Daniel alone saw the vision that means that the others who were around him you can be a, in a crowd of people and God will reveal something to you through the Holy Spirit they they may not see it I am a firm believer that when God allows a person to see or hear or sense something through the Holy Spirit it becomes their assignment it becomes their assignment to pray for first so that you get an understanding what to do with what you just saw, what you heard, and what you sensed. Now, I know that goes into teaching in the prophetic, but once again, we are a teaching ministry. So, it says, And I, Daniel, alone saw the vision. For the men that were with me saw not the vision, but a great quakening fell upon them, so that they fled to hide themselves. Therefore I was left alone, and saw this great vision, and there remained no strength in me, for my comeliness was turned in me into corruption, and I sustained no strength. In other words, he fainted. Yet heard I the voice of his words, and when I heard the voice of his words, then was I in a deep sleep on my face, and my face toward the ground. And behold, an hand touched me, which set me upon my knees, and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a, great, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright. For unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. This is where I want to get to with breaking barriers. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel. 
For from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand, and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty-one days. Now, that was a barrier. If we go back up into the scripture text, it gives the appointed time that he was withdrawn and he was fasting three weeks. If we look at our calendar time today, three weeks amounts to what? 21 days, seven days a week, 21 days. Here the angel of the Lord says, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and 21 days. So there was a barrier. It did not mean that the word was not released. It does not mean that the word was not heard and acted upon from God, which is in heaven. It means that there was something that was hindering that word. And I'm going to use the word today, barrier. A barrier, once again, let's look at the definition of barrier. Let's take a look at that definition. A barrier is a fence or other obstacle that prevents movement or access. So what was experiencing here when we look at Daniel as he was praying about the vision and about what was taking place, the answer, he, his prayer was heard, his prayer was received, and an answer was being released. But there was a barrier also, let me let me go over to uh, Ephesians. Uh, let me see the weapons of our warfare. That's what I want to get to. Okay, I want to get over to Second Corinthians, Tim chapter. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God through the pulling down of strongholds. Also, let me see, let me see what's else in here. Love technology. Okay, so I, I also want to get to um, another scripture text that says, um, we wrestle not. And that's over in Ephesians 6 and 12. So let's go over to Ephesians 6. 6 chapter. And the verse I want is looking at the 12th verse. So let's go there. It says, this is talking about the whole armor of God. But this is where I want to get to the 12th verse. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So as we le read Daniel, the 10th chapter, and he is being told by the angel that from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before the Lord thy God, Thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, one of the chief archangels, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Now I am come to make thee withstand what shall befall thy people in the latter days, for yet the vision is for many days. And so there was a barrier there that was hindering the answer to where Daniel was seeking God. He wanted to understand further. It does say in the beginning that he understood. It was a long time. Daniel understood the thing and the vision, but the time appointed was long. So there was something going on that Daniel did not understand. And so he began to uh, seek God for an understanding. That's how we break barriers. Sometimes we go up against things 
we try to get through obstacles without ha having an understanding of what the obstacle is. Sometimes we want to finish. We want to go to the next section. We want to move forward. But there is a barrier. And I'm going to say this a lot of times when we are faced with a barrier, we throw in the towel and we give up. Why? Because we become frustrated. There is this notion that, okay, God told me to do it. I'm going to do it. And you're right. But the enemy doesn't want it to happen. Why doesn't he want that to happen? Because... Uh, you are an individual who will further the gospel of Jesus Christ. You are an individual who has been sent to help. We're all sent to make disciples. You are sent to, you're, you're one who is, is sent with an answer. Whenever there is a prayer and it is heard and received in heaven, there is an answer that will be released. A lot of times that answer is released through one reading the word of God, a prophetic uh, dream, vision, a prophetic word, one ministering the word. Uh, and, and he can use a, a vessel, a human vessel, that he will deliver that answer to you, deliver that response. Now, once again, the enemy, and when we say the enemy, Satan, he has but a job, and that is to steal, kill, and destroy. That is the barrier. He doesn't want your answers to be released from heaven, first of all. And when they are released, he wants to uh, put up a barrier so that you don't receive the answer, so that you get frustrated and that you throw in the towel and you no longer wait for an answer, so that you begin to take things into your own hands. You begin to take matters into your own hands and you don't wait for the proper answer so that you don't wait for the proper instructions from God. That's the enemy's job. But I want to encourage you today, do not throw in the towel. Do not become so frustrated that um, it, it's, it's not an easy process. It's really not. And I am learning that day by day by day. Uh, prime example, yesterday I was uh, working on one of the projects for the balance of life. And listen, I kept hitting a barrier. I really did. I was on the phone, I kid you not, from 1.32 in the afternoon till about 6 o'clock. And I am following the process and procedure according to this website to do what I needed to do. But I kept hitting a barrier. I followed their instructions for what they told me to do. But I kept hitting a barrier. And then, of course, my account got locked because they, you know, that's just a system. And I just got to a resolve. I'm like, you know what? I have to look at it tomorrow. And I actually said within myself, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Um, I'm going to give it two hours. And, you know, I'm not going to frustrate myself. But lo and behold, I went on this morning first try boom it went straight through accomplished and so determining not to get frustrated but allowing God to lead and guide me um, and so there are barriers why because the enemy doesn't want you to progress he doesn't and and don't recognize the barriers if you were doing the will of God, if you're doing the work of God, you're going to hit some barriers. You're going to hit some roadblocks. It has nothing to do with you per se as the person. It has to do with the fact that you are carrying out the will of God and he does not, and the enemy does not want 
God's will to be done on earth. He does not want that at all. And so if you are carrying a word in your belly to, to deliver to an individual or even to a multitude, listen, the enemy is going to throw out obstacles. He's going to throw out some fences, some barriers to stop you. But when you know that you know that you know that this assignment is from God, don't fight the barrier, stand on the word of God. Prepare yourself to go. Study to show yourself approved. Prepare. And so at the right appointed time, when you receive the release to go, go. And all the while, it, it leads us back to prayer. Remain in prayer. Remain steadfast in prayer. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Because you have hit a barrier. Barriers can be moved. Barriers can be broken. Barriers can be destroyed and torn down. Remember that we can do nothing on our own accord, but we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. So it's not by power. It's not by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. And so this word, breaking barriers, I would love for you to spend some time in the book of Daniel. Go back to the ninth chapter, read the 10th chapter, and you're going to see that according to this angel, and I'm going to go back to the 12th verse, it says, but then said he unto me, fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand from the moment that you submit your will to do the will of God, from the moment that you decide I am going to follow the instructions from God given unto me by the Holy Spirit and so you begin to pray for those instructions to be released you begin to pray for an opportunity we're supposed to pray for ministers of the gospel so that uh, there is a open door for them to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, the mysteries of Jesus Christ. And we're also supposed to pray that uh, when they get there to minister the word on their way, that it is free, that they can move freely. We're supposed to pray that. Yes, we are. Actually, that's one of the scriptures that we shared uh, last week during Bible study about praying for ministers. And uh, we're going to share more um, on this particular uh, tonight. We're going to talk about praying for ministers, ministers of the word. And that's uh, those two scriptures are found in Colossians 4 and 3 and 2 Thessalonians 3 and 1. But know that, yes, there are barriers. But as you do as Daniel did, stay steadfast. Keep your eyes on with an expectation of receiving an answer from God concerning what he told you to do. There is an answer on the way. There is a breakthrough on the way. You have been called with a holy call. You do have an assignment. God does want you to uh, join him in a ministry work. He does. But the enemy doesn't want you to get there. The enemy wants you to get frustrated and throw in the towel. The enemy does not want you to complete your assignment. And so he's going to throw some things in your way. That will make you want to give up. That will make you want to say, you know what? I don't have time for this. I'm just going to throw in the towel. Um, I already got stuff going on anyway. I don't need to add anything to my plate. But when you have a mandate... And when you, uh, when, when God wants to expand you and send you to places, uh, we got to go. 
Yes, we do. We have to go. We have things to do. I don't know about you, but I, I don't want to be stopped by barriers. I know that they are there to hinder me and that they are there to stop me, but I can't allow it. And the way I will not allow it is I stand on the word of God. I stand firmly on the word of God. I have a relationship. I have a right relationship with him. I walk in humility. I live in obedience. I trust his word. I know that if he spoke it, he shall perform it. I know that I should wait on the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And I know that I must be obedient to what the Holy Spirit instructs me to do. Why? Because those instructions are coming from God. And as long as I keep that in the forefront, the barriers will be broken and destroyed. He will send his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. The angel of the Lord has already gone before me. And when he needs to warn me to change course, the Holy Spirit will let me know that too. He will not leave me ignorant. He will not leave me in the dark. He will reveal unto me what he hears from heaven. So today... And, and I'm so, so in love with the Word of God. Is we've already created some bullet points for you today. Today, we have an expectation to break through the barriers that have become a fence or an obstacle that has prevented your movement and access to the promises of God. These things will break through barriers. Your relationship with God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, faith in God, obedience, humility, the fruit of the Spirit, hearing the Word of God, receiving the Word of God, acting upon the Word of God, knowing His plans for you, trusting that He will, can perform all that He has promised. Those are some bullet points that is going to help us break through some barriers. It's time to break through the barriers. But let it begin with your relationship with God. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. He will. He'll direct your path. If you allow Him to. Your next, the instructions, He's going to release it. If you want it. So we have to want the instructions. We have to want the directions we have to want to know what to do next because if I can do it on my own why would I need to pray if I can do it on my own I don't need his plan but I have found that listen I have messed some stuff up I have listen I have gone in some circles that I didn't need to go into I went through those circles and those things because I didn't seek his face but now that I have learned how to break barriers I'm gonna stick to that plan and that plan starts with my relationship with him seeking his counsel calling upon him when I am in trouble honoring him acknowledging who he is acknowledging that he knew me before I was even thought of so let's break some barriers today. I believe that God wants to break some barriers in your life. But it starts once again with the relationship with Him. What barriers have you been facing in ministry? In your personal life? In your career? What barriers have you been facing? I encourage you to seek the Lord in prayer. Seek His guidance. Seek His instructions for your life. Above all, repent and put everything back into His hand and let Him make something beautiful 
of your life. Don't forget, we love to keep you in prayer. Email us today at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. You are in our prayers. You're in our thoughts. Once again, thank you for the expansion of our platform to Apple Podcast. Have a blessed day, everyone. We love you. Stay encouraged, encouraging others along the way.